It's my hope that today will be, be cause for inspiration and discussion on ways to identify how we can accelerate the clean energy transition while putting the consumers at the heart of the transition. The fact that Swedish is aiming to become the first fossil-free welfare nation in the world means that we need a smarter, greener and more efficient use of the energy that we consume. The broad political agreement in the Swedish parliament on the future direction of Swedish energy, energy policy is setting the foundation for the next decades of energy transition. And the targets are quite ambitious. By 2040, 100% of the electricity production should be renewable. By 2030, Sweden's energy use is up to be 50% more efficient than in 2005. And by 2045, Sweden is to have no net emissions of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and should thereafter achieve negative emissions. I'm sure that you're all familiar with these targets, but it's worth repeating them since they will be our guiding lights for the next decades to come. The challenges posed for the global energy outlook are daunting. With rising emissions in 2018 and a rapid, but not rapid enough, deployment of new re renewable energy. In many ways, Sweden is already leading the way towards a low carbon economy, but that does not mean that we can slow down or feel satisfied. And we will challenge you, Costa Rica. <laughs> We need to work even harder to reach the energy and climate goals set at the national level, at the European Union level, as well as ensuring that Sweden fulfills our commitments under the Paris Agreement. Together, we must work actively to ensure a sustainable transition towards an ecologically and economically strong economy. That involves electrifying the transport sector, facilitating a more flexible use of our electricity, improving energy efficiency, and keep developing new, smart technology. We must go from words to action and facilitate the introduction of new, smart solutions and new business model to transform the energy sector. And we must take the most of the opportunities to digitalize our energy and transport sectors. This transition is a challenge, but it's also an opportunity it's essential to involve all relevant policy areas to make this monumental sh societal shift a reality. And being at the forefront of energy innovation and research can also generate new jobs and investments in Sweden and lead to new opportunities for Swedish expertise and export. I believe that we have a re responsibility to share our experiences as work together with other countries. I truly hope that all of you are, ex are as excited as I am to work hard to accelerate the energy transition towards Sweden as a fossil-free society. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.